What can Europe do? We should put uh, political pressure on, on China and ask them to respect the rights of the Tibetans. Uh, we should dialogue and dialogue and dialogue and ask for respect. And I think we should um, uh, ask the, 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 the athletes who will go to the Olympics not to boycott it, but to go there and all the medal winners to uh, to invite to say something that they are concerned about the situation in Tibet. That's the way China uh, will take it, I think, because they are very sensitive to what the world think of China, and that's a unique possibility. So I think invite sporters to go, uh, not to boycott, and ask them to make a statement uh, at the end, and uh, the Commission should put. Uh, political pressure and I think we in the European Parliament should make a resolution condemning all the actions and asking for uh, more respect. I'm a member of the Tibet Intergroup and uh, for years following the situation in uh, Tibet uh, we visited the Dalai Lama in Dharamsala where he uh, live, lives now and uh, so we heard for a long time about the difficult situation and all what China is doing but it, the problems are increasing now and uh, the Dalai Lama speaks about cultural genocide and I think that's true. China comes in Tibet and uh, prohibits religion, prohibits tradition, uh, arrests people without any cause or reason uh, and, and torture them and uh, bring people to Tibet and they are overruled by millions of Chinese. So it's really, I can imagine that the Dalai Lama speaks about uh, 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 cultural genocide. And now the problems are increasing and even the peaceful acting Tibetans are protesting and uh, their, their, and it, their patience is over. And I think they use the situation that China is having the Olympic Games to ask for attention to their problems.